Hello YouTubers, this is Doctor Who S5 Reviews. I'm here today to review brand new blue bow tie Doctor from the brand new range of character building. This is a, a Daily Mirror exclusive. Um, it, it, um, you cut out the voucher, you take it to either Toys R Us or Sainsbury's. Now I took my voucher for the Dalek Eternal figure this morning to Sainsbury's and the woman said to me, here's the Dalek Eternal, I will be reviewing later uh, the, Dalek, the woman said to me, uh, do you, would you like yesterday's, did you get yesterday's one? I said no, so she gave me this and of course I'm going to review this first because it's the most important so yesterday you got the blue, blue bowtie Doctor today you got the yellow Eternal Dalek and tomorrow you get Amy Pond so I'll be getting that and I'll do, do a review of that so uh, so the basis of this is that it's like Lego very much um, I will review the figure but before I review it I'm going to show you the packaging that it came in so the packaging that this came in I'm sorry but I had to cut the top off to get it out the packaging that it came in is very simple you got collectible, constructible, compatible Doctor Who logo and not for resale. Uh, contains one eleventh Doctor figure with display base. Exclusive the Doctor Micro figure. And it's got a picture there. And on the back it's just got barcode and company information, pretty boring stuff. So yep. And then also with the figure you get a second, you get a special poster which shows all of the figures in the range. Um, I haven't got any of these yet, but I will be doing so some point this week, and I will be getting the TARDIS set as well. So, uh, yeah. So, you get them with every figures, like in the pack. So, don't worry, don't fret about not getting one. So, on with the figure review. Right, so, uh, to put it t together, let me just take it to pieces. You've got one Doctor Who base. Get that with most figures apart from the Daleks. Legs, screwdriver, which by the way is all silver and a proper bummer because they could have put at least a bit of detail in with something that big. Um, body and the doctor's head. Um, so to put it together, I start off with getting the base and getting the legs, then stick them onto the base like so, so that they're like that then get the body stick that on top then if you wish so you can put the head or the screwdriver I, I, I tend to put the screwdriver because like just easier one second, this is this is fiddly this is quite hard to do so just bear with me there you go, right so the screwdriver on and then you get his head because at the moment he's headless Pop that on. By the way, all these parts are quite stiff, so you need to uh, push down quite hard. Right, so that's the figure when it's assembled, uh, as you've seen. Fair enough. All the way around. Right, so now I'm going to start to review this thing. Right, so let's start off with the base. The base you only get you, the only time you don't get one of these with a figure is with the Daleks, because. In my next review, which is the Dalek Eternal, I will show you why you don't get one. Not only does it look stupid, but it just doesn't look right. So, this is the new Doctor Who logo. Uh, it's pretty cool. You've got two studs for the figure to stand on, using their feet. If it's a weeping angel, they're dressed. So, and then you turn over to the back and you've got four stud inserts, where you can put onto like a base so if you've seen the Dalek progenitor, progenitor room you can like stick it onto there so it stays on and doesn't move uh, yeah that's simple base it's quite simple actually it's just got like product property of BBC 2011 license and stuff like that on the back so yeah that's the base right so onto the figure the figure I may say is amazing they've got pretty much every aspect right he's got green eyes just like Matt Smith Wait a minute. Yeah, he's got green eyes. Um, his hair is not actually black. It's brown. 
so that's just the camera. Um, so yeah, the head is pretty detailed. It's a cheeky smile, two ears, it's got all the coifs and everything. So yeah, the body is printed. There's no bumps, no nothing. It's all flat and it's printed. It's smooth. So it's like, you can think it can slide across it. Um, you've got a blue shirt, dark blue bow tie. Um, oh yeah, he's got a, a, a fleshy coloured skin, which is good. And hands. So yeah, his sonic screwdriver, as I said, is a bit disappointing because it's just silver, and that that kind of peed me off a bit because you know it just does. And his trousers, they've got like creases in them. And the boots, the, the trousers are quite impressive and the boots are pretty good as well now the detailing on this is pretty good considering it's supposed to be a cartoon it's not supposed to represent something really really lifelike it's supposed to be like a cartoon so for that reason I'm going to give this figure a an 8.5 out of 10 because it's a good figure that's that's what I'm going to say so um, yeah so on to articulation let me just take this some screwdriver off right so the hands do a full 360 turn as you can see both of them the hip does a full 360 turn uh, the head also does a full 360 turn with a bit of a uh, you know it does take a lot, quite a bit of strength to get that brand uh, the legs go up at the hip and that's it and uh, the arms do a full 360 turn so uh, yeah all in all it's a pretty good thing considering you get it for free in the paper but I will be getting some point this week maybe I'm not quite sure I will be getting the TARDIS set the TARDIS mini set and two more figures so I will see you in my next review which will be of Dalek Eternal so thank you for watching Subscribe, comment and rate and I will see you then. Bye.